Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to tell encrypt and decrypt text. How to protect or how to secure your client NPI data. NPI data means non-public personal information that can be a, your, that name, date of birth, any account information, your credit card information. So these are NPI data. So if you are working on any client project in which you are getting some NPI data and your client says that you have to first secure all this data. You don't need to you know directly uh, store those data in the database or in the queue or in Excel. They will share this data in Excel but while adding those data to the queue or in the SQL server you need to encrypt those data you need to secure this, those data it means if you encrypt those data automatically those data will be converted to the any some specific characters that you will not able to understand what is that and once you will decrypt that you will get your original data. So by this way this encryption works here and this complete process is called cryptography. Let me show you, I will first show you one simple example so that I can explain and you can understand this one and then I will show you the real time example. First to do this encryption and decryption you have to first go to the manage packages and you have to click on all packages search for uipath dot cryptography and then install this package save this now let me take one example I have this assign activity and in this let's say I want to store date of birth so I have DUB and currently we have like 05 09 2021 so this is our date of birth now we are getting this date of birth and if I will take one message box let me take here so this is visible like anyone can see this this NPI data now I want to encrypt this text so that I can store the encrypted data in the database so to encrypt we have to take encrypt text so there is a activity that is encrypt text we'll take here and here we need to pass algorithm and the text that you want to encrypt and the key key is your secure key that you can say as a you know your private encryption key that you will use to encrypt that data so here you can select AES we have multiple you know algorithms but I'm going to use AES and in the text I want to encrypt this date of birth so I will take here DOB now in the key you have to decide what key you are going to pass because the same key you need to use while using decrypt so let's say I'm going to use ABC one two three this is my encryption key now once data will be encrypted it will give you the encrypted text so in the result output instead of storing in a different variable I will store in the same DOB same variable now I will take message box and now you will see here if I will run this first time you will see the original date of birth second time you will get this type of encrypted text so this is now secure now if I want to decrypt this so that I can use this value this date of birth in any application so for that we have to take decrypt text 
and now again text will be this encrypted text same and key will be this key that we have used to encrypt our text so if you will change if you will put any other value in the key your data will not be decrypted it will throw an error now in the result put in the same variable dob now copy this message box and paste here and now try this first message box you will see that is original date of birth second you will see that is encrypted and third time you will see that is the again you are getting the decrypted that is the original one again right so by this way you can apply encryption and decryption now I am going to show you one real time example so as I told you that if you are working on any clients project so there is one project that is credit card processing and in the credit card processing you have these data that you are getting from client they are sharing their full name their user id credit card type credit card number and you know that that credit card number and user id we should not make it visible to public right here i have taken one queue credit card queue and i will take data from here and store in the queue and then i will show you how to type in this so you can assume that this is the uh, that credit card that banking application so here we need to type the correct original decrypted data not encrypted so here we'll uh, we'll write full name user id credit card type and credit card number now i already have this boat designed here in the data input what we are doing we are just reading this excel data and in the for each row we are taking one by one data and then we are adding these items to queue and then opening this browser now in the next we are getting the transition data from queue and we are checking if there is item in the queue available then we are processing these items we are op attaching that open browser and we are typing full name and user id and then cc type credit card type and credit card number and then click reset let me run this we have five records let me close this one you'll see five records have been added to queue if you see in your queue click on view details if you see here now anyone can see who has the access of this queue they can see this data full name user id credit card number but i don't want to show this these details to to any other developers or any other person i don't want to show them so for that what we need to do we need to encrypt this data and store in the queue with the encrypted now let me go here and now in the data input what we are doing we are reading the data storing in the you know data table now we are taking one by one data from data table and then before adding the items to the queue we need to decrypt those data so we'll take here encrypt sorry we need to encrypt that so we'll take encrypt text will and then let me write encrypt i'm going to encrypt user id and then encrypt uh, uh, cc number it means credit card number and after that what uh, here in the user id we have text so text will be currently i am passing this uh, user id so i want to encrypt this value and you can see i am getting this value from 
current row it means from here from this data table row so I'm getting in the variable so I'm putting here user ID and then key so key I'm either you can take it from your assets or somewhere or you can put the same in the project itself so I'm putting here ABC123 this is for encryption and same I am using here also in this key in both encrypt user ID uh, encrypt text activity now in this text this is for CC number so I will take here this CC number and I will paste in this text now in the encrypt user ID text in the result I will take here same user ID variable and here also I will take that CC number same variable no need to store in a different variable now we have already written the steps to add so automatically it will take the data from that user ID and CC number and it will add items to queue now after in doing encryption and adding to the queue I need to decrypt and then process that so in the get transition data first I will get transition item from the queue and then I will decrypt these text here so I will take one and two so this is for decrypt user ID text and this is for decrypt CC number text now here I will take in the text transaction item dot specific content in the double code so I need to pass user ID and then dot to string and here we need to pass the same secret key that key that we passed in encrypt one so we'll pass ABC one two three same I will copy and paste here also now same thing I will copy and paste here and I will just change the name so I will put here CC underscore number and in the decrypt again we'll take that user ID and here I will take CC number I will store in the CC number now here we have the decrypted text same as the original one now here I will what we are doing we are passing here that one so what we can do uh, instead of doing like this we can put here user id same that variable and in the cc number we can just put here the cc number because now we have the cc number variable that has the decrypted value now let's try here let me run this file and this time it should add five more records to the queue with the encrypted text but while processing this we should get the correct value you can see here we are getting the correct and decrypted value it means the original value but I will show you that queue and you see there we have encrypted text there so we have completed five records let me check here I think it's you know trying to encrypt the data but basically we need to you know write these things here while decrypting we need to write here that will be the good thing because here while getting transition if no data then again it is going to you know decrypt that data now that's okay but here let me show you that five more records let me click on this one and click on view details now if you see here in the user ID we have encrypted text and the CC number here we have again encrypted text but master data and this one this is the in the original form because we have not encrypted this one only we have encrypted user ID and CC number so you will see here and if you see the previous one there is no data with 
encrypted text right so by this way we can secure npi data i hope you like this video if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you